This is your monthly Bloxburg News, February 2022. I am your host, Brampy. You star code Brampy. It's the last Thursday of the month, so that means it is time for your monthly news. Let's get to the headlines. Bloxburg got a big Valentine's Day update. I took a break because of mental health. A news article went viral because of some NPCs. More people started building again because of the new furniture. More people had bugs in their game after the update. Roblox is broken. People are finally getting away from the American McMansions and are starting to build in their own style and their own cultural inheritance. It's amazing to see. Point number one, Bloxburg got a big Valentine's Day update. I don't think we were expecting that at all, but I was expecting some Valentine's Day stuff, but then we got amazing furniture. We also have doors that you can build on now and just the hairpin furniture is everything. I still need to build a house with it. I haven't been motivated. But yeah, this update was amazing. Number two, I took a break because of mental health. Yes, I was not doing too well, so I decided to take a break. It really hit me this year that we had the chance in 2020 and 2021 to really change the world for the better and like work on issues that have been lingering society for a long time. It is deep, I know, but it really, really hit me this year that nothing is going to change and I was so down about that because that made me realize that climate change will never be tackled and stuff like that so I felt a little down I'm still a little down I'm getting back there but Yes, I'm taking things slowly and um, I'm being careful. Number three, and this is not only for Bloxburg, but people are trying to profit out of the news article and then relating it to Bloxburg for whatever reason it may be. But there was a news article. So some people created a game that shouldn't be on Roblox. It probably was never published. If it was, then, well, it's kind of stupid. But someone made an offline game in studio, made naked characters and, well, made them do things that should not be seen and should not be uh, on a Roblox. And yes, a news article picked that up, another news article picked that up, and they started writing their own stories next to it and claiming that these are very common and that this is the normality on a Roblox and that people actually look for places like these. I don't know anyone that looks for places like these. I don't know any places like these. So a lot of it was made up, but yes, there was a news article about it and and uh, yes, Roblox took some hits for that. Number four, more people started building again because of the new furniture. So we hadn't seen new furniture or that much new furniture in a while now. And it was nice and refreshing to see an update like that because last year felt like an entire basic shape update. Right now we are getting back to getting more furniture and people are becoming more motivated to build again, which is nice to see. And it's nice to go on Twitter and actually see builds and not drama for once. <laughs> Then moving on to the Bloxburg Player of the Month, and this month it is Robuilds. You might have heard of Robuilds from her YouTube channel or her Twitter, but she always does these events to bring the community closer, and it's so nice to see how active she makes the community. They did a cute, very, very cute heart on Twitter, so this is by It's Your Girl Lexi. Just so wholesome, and I love to see it, and the events she does for her builds and stuff like that. Good job, bro builds. Keep it up. Number five, more people had bugs in their game after the update. So there was a problem with the doors. The doors wouldn't open for some people. There's also the fences, but I will probably make a very short video about that as well, where there is a wall inside your fence. Now, if you are placing it, I don't think it's a glitch. I think it's part of the game now, but that's for another video. A lot of people were reporting issues with basic shapes. So if they place, for example, a shower on a basic shape or they place some paintings or something on a basic shape and reload their house that it doesn't load and uh, I'm pretty sure that that will be fixed soon. But yeah, a lot of people had bugs in their games. And talking about bugs, number six, Roblox is broken. It feels like Roblox is crashing every other weekend. It's become normal to see Roblox down trending on Twitter and Roblox crashing and oh my goodness, I feel like their servers are really overloaded. And yeah, it came at a bad time this weekend because there was some drama in the Royal High community. I will not get into the details because I will not get involved in that. But yeah, it was a kind of a bad time, but let's see. I hope it doesn't happen every week. 
we can, but it definitely seems like Roblox servers are overloaded. Number seven, I feel like finally the community is diversifying again. It is nice to see some other builds than McMansions. McMansions are basically mansions, but smaller, that kind of have everything thrown together. It is a term if you want to look it up. But yeah, it's nice to see people move away from that and actually do stuff like things they see in their own country or their own culture and just build based on that and it's nice to actually see how other people live and how the world is and not just see American floor plans being copied from generic websites. So it's nice to see that. Then moving on to the Bloxburg trends, finally people are starting to call out people who just put clutter everywhere and call it detailed. While in real life, if you had that much clutter in your house, you would trip every other centimeter or every other inch over something that is on the floor or on, I don't know, wherever you put it. But people are finally starting to realize that putting clutter everywhere does not make your house better or detailed, which I appreciate so much. But no hate. Let's not hate on people for building what they want to build. So keep it respectful. If you want to call someone out, just say something like, okay, you do you, but that is not my style. Don't don't call people out for it. But like, you know what I mean. Then the build of the month is from Lavile. So talking about clutter, this is like a nice amount of clutter. It's a little bit much, but I do like it in that setting. And they did use the update to build their new living room. And I think it looks amazing. The colors, everything, the pillows. They did a really good job on it. And I'm very happy to see that. So this is the build of the month. Here are some pictures. So good job to you, laugh and keep it up. Number eight, the Welcome to Bloxburg Discord server opened a new smaller server where you can upload your assets. However, a lot of people think it's a competition and that the winner will have their assets added to Welcome to Bloxburg. That is not the case. I will make a separate video on that to make people aware of it, but what it is, is you used to be able to upload assets in a separate channel in the Welcome to Bloxburg server. Now they have a separate Discord server for it. Nothing really changed. Goeptus does look at it, but it's not certain that your items will be added to the game. So keep that in mind. And that was your Bloxburg news for February. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like button and please subscribe.